of that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thy own of thine eyes, which shall thou see? I helped him out. If you like it, I, I can look you up. You understand? So don't trip. The Lord shall smite thee in thy knees and thy legs with sore blotch that cannot be healed. For thy sword thy, of thy foot upon the top of thy head. He's sick. That's what the Bible is saying. All day, every day. So what do y'all do when people do not feel compelled by they have the they teaching of the That's what we think. If they don't feel That's compelled, yeah. So do y'all feel like y'all minister to people and then y'all are... Yeah, if you want to be ministered no, to, if you want to be served, yeah, we hear the command. Give you the Lord's commands. Nobody else is going to tell you because we so, follow orders in here. That's what we do. It says, it says, and the truth shall set you free. Did it cost anything for, for you to you yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't no. just your face reading. You understand? No yeah, I know. See, you can't even get no sugar out of these <laughs> no, pieces. Ain't no sugar they, 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 they didn't become hardened against their own men. Okay? Because the Bible, the Bible is telling you about how to go down to verse 54. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how evil we didn't become to one another. I'm just telling you, brothers, going down the street, that we should be loving one another and you shouldn't hate on another brother. And I walk love and so That is tender among you and very delicate. A not young man. And not delicate. His eyes shall be evil toward his own black on black crime. I'm reading to you black on black crime. No, read, read it again. And toward the and toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his wife. children. You see that? We hate each other. I don't yeah, understand. Nobody. Read it from I have the top. For all of y'all, you still don't want to be your wife. So that the man. If, if you left me, you would be quiet. Because that's what the that's what yeah that's what women are supposed to do in in the congregation in the church the women are supposed to be quiet. Would you like would you like to prove it? First Corinthians fourteen and thirty four. Because the Bible said that she should be quiet. The Bible is wrong. I know. The Bible's wrong. I know. Didn't I tell you we didn't want everybody? Go ahead, Papa. Didn't I tell you we don't want everybody? Right. Oh, look how he treats me. Go ahead. Come on, come on. It's the book of First Corinthians. You rejected God. God. Chapter 14, verse 34. Let your woman keep silence in the churches. I know. I know. Skip up to verse 30, 33. And I'll show you the confusion. Go on, come on. It's the book of First Corinthians. Chapter 14, verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion. All you had to do was be quiet. Uh, oh, but of peace. And if you didn't like it, you can walk your ass up the street. Right. We don't give a damn whether or not you want to receive it or not. We're going to speak it. You understand whether you like it or not. Right. And if all churches are the same, let your woman keep silence in the churches. For it is not Permit it unto them. Not what? Permit it unto them. Not what? Permit it unto them. I didn't say nothing. God said it. Not permit it unto them to speak. You should be quiet out here. Go back to 54. Skip down to 55. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 55. So that he will not give to any of them to the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. That's abortion right there. You eat your children. You consume the flesh of your children. Keep going. Because he has nothing left him in the sea. Because he has nothing left him in the sea and in the straightness. And we ain't got nothing left. Okay. We ain't got our own We ain't got our own shoes going on. We ain't got our own doctors that used to come and, and visit our homes or what have you. All we did was join America and turn into rattlesnakes against one another. That's it. That's all we do. Oh, you got it, right? 
Because we sinned against God and didn't want to be be quiet. We didn't want to be quiet. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's get with it real quick. This is the problem, man. Don't nobody want to listen to God, man. And whenever somebody come out and start telling you the truth, you hate us for telling you the goddamn truth, man. Right. We love y'all. We black just like y'all. We come out of the same ghetto, the same project as y'all come out of. Why you gonna hate us for telling you the goddamn truth? The white man don't love you, man. Don't you see our conditions in America? They give you a goddamn concert, a song and a dance, and you think that they love you. Man, read that. This the book. A second Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 6. But though I be rude in speech. The Lord said, but though I be rude in speech. Read that again. But though I be rude in speech. But though I be rude in speech. Read on. Yet not in knowledge. But yet not in knowledge. Why are we rude in speech and not in knowledge? Because the knowledge we're giving you isn't our knowledge. We're giving you God's knowledge. We read this straight out the Bible. All you got to do, every cell phone, you can download a Bible and read right along with us. We ain't telling you nothing new. The problem is your, your stuck and fetched ass pastor never told you to open the Bible and read it for yourself. And guess what? We don't even know what a damn curse word is. Hey, that's what that's what's called profane language. Profanity. A curse is if I pray to God for something bad to happen to somebody. You see what the problem is? We you know what happens is this is the problem in America. From the first grade all the way up into the, the third or the fourth grade, they teach you what's called reading comprehension. At a certain point, they start they stop telling you how to comprehend what you're reading and then they dictate to you what you're reading because guess what how are we gonna read in the bible that god just said though i be rude in speech but not in knowledge and you're gonna be mad at that these aren't my words somebody give me where it says he therefore that despises despises not man but god let's go what does that mean Guess what? You know what? If you sit back for a minute and let me finish, then I'll explain that to you. Because guess what? Everybody in America, guess what? This is the thing. If she she can go any corner she wants to, if she don't believe what we're saying, why don't she just go to another corner and set up her own camp and she can tell the people whatever she want to tell them? We don't care. Nobody, we're not forcing nobody to stand here and speak to us. Somebody give me a bottle of water. And guess what? I'm going to answer them when I feel like them. Because I'm going to answer your questions when I'm feeling. No, no. And somebody else give me the scripture. Uh, where it says, uh, I, I am, not, am I not there for your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. You don't know what you're dealing with here, young sister. Go ahead. Where's the first scripture? I ask you. You should know Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. The deal, the deal is, I should know something. Who gonna tell me that I should know something? When guess what? When it tells you that if you smoke cigarettes on the goddamn package, that it's gonna kill you. You, you know what? You smoking something right now, and whatever you smoke don't kill you. Whatever you smoke don't kill you. You see how ignorant we are? We don't want people to tell us the truth, man. That's the problem. We don't. We hate it when other people come out here and show our own people love. And you know why we hate that? Because every morning that we get up, I used to deal with it, and I look in the mirror. Because of my situation over here in America, I hated who I was, man. And you know what woke me up? is when I got this truth and I realized that God loved me. I don't need no other goddamn nationality on this earth to love me. No other person that's on this earth to love me if God loves me. Man. That's right. Come on, let's go. Come on, God, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. 
Am I not therefore become your enemy? Am I now therefore become your enemy? Read on. Hold on, read that again. Oh God, this is the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 16. See, this is the problem. Everybody get mad with us when we come out here and say what the truth is. Don't get mad with us. You know you should blame? Blame your Christian pastor. Because your Christian pastor was the one that did not tell you the truth. Read on. Come on. Am I not therefore become your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. And guess what? We become your enemies because we come down here and tell you the truth. You hate us for telling you the truth, man. But guess what? Let me ask you a question. If a person is a crackhead and he's smoking crack, and you want that person to stop smoking crack. If that person can always say, guess what? You judging me. You shouldn't be looking down on me like that. How can you ever stop the person from smoking crack if you can't tell him that he's a crackhead? Then he will never stop smoking crack. So how can you stop our people from sinning if we can never mention to you the sin that we committing? Right. We're not saying that we better than nobody. Hell, you're looking at one of the biggest weed heads used to be on the face of the planet. I've tried every goddamn drug under this under the sun to try to make me feel better. And you know what? None of it worked. You know what worked right. for me? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding That's of the right. world. Right. I get high on this right now. I'm high right now on the word of the Lord. And that's what we need to practice getting high on, is the word of the Lord. What was that, sis? The same word that you're saying is an impossible. I, I can't hear you. You're reading from the same book that you said, you just said Christianity. Not hold on, hold on. Who told you that this was a Christian book? Right. So which Bible is it? I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect this be punished Really I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit you can call me the king I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order